Here at Aquarelle Orphanage, the day begins at 7 a.m. Everyone knows what to do. They take the same medications in the same dosage, mornings and evenings. Aquarelle is home to 40 boys and girls from 4 to 17 years old. They're called Plusiki and Minosiki, the terms for HIV positive and negative children here. When we opened this home 12 years ago, at first the HIV-positive children were kept separate. The sofas could be wiped clean, the floors had no rugs. The dishes were soaked in disinfectant in big containers. It was very hard to create a tolerant environment for them. It took six years before all the staff members learned to accept and respect these children. Now the Plusiki and Minusiki play together. They all have much the same routine. They're all growing up without parents in this one-of-a-kind home in the southern Russian city of Chelyabinsk. Now everyone here knows there's no danger of picking up the virus from the HIV-positive children, not even if someone should suffer a cut. Caregivers are never far from the youngest kids. And the older ones know that the virus is unstable and dies if it comes into contact with air. One of my friends sleeps in the same room with me. He's HIV positive. One day before I found out, I came in and he said, I've got to tell you something. I'm HIV positive. I was scared at first, but then he told me how it's transmitted, and since then everything's been okay. I treat him completely normally. One third of the children here were born of HIV positive parents, many of whom were also alcohol or drug abusers. They lost custody of the children. Some of the parents don't even know where their children are. At Aquarelle, they grow up in a safe environment. They learn from the start to approach their HIV infection with confidence, unlike many adults. Once our kids went to a summer camp, the first evening, the children were bathed. The door opened and the camp director peeked in, as if our children had four ears and two heads. Another time, my co-worker asked, Marina, what should I do? They've brought us an HIV-positive boy. I said, off to the cellar with him, lock him up. She was bewildered. I said, what do you think? Let him play with the others, of course. As the day closes at Aquarelle, everyone knows just what to do the same medications in the same dosages every evening. Everyone here is worried about what will become of the kids once they leave the home. Many of them were born with disabilities because of their mother's alcohol or drug abuse. Unless they are adopted, they will likely be left to fend for themselves for the rest of their lives. Oh, my God.